Welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. Now this story today is a bit of a weird story. Now in Jamaica we have something called family rum. Family, ha! family rum is when you are sleeping with or having relations with another member of your family. So, uh, that's self-explanatory. Anyways, in, uh, in America we call it inbred or inbreeding, uh, that kind of stuff, right? And we usually have stereotypes around it like, like an inbred or them rednecks up in the hills or whatever. Family rum. You know what family rum means. This story today. I'm reading a story and it says two, a set of twins got together. Could you imagine this? Could you imagine you, you go to school, right? You graduated high school. <coughs> you go off to college. <clears throat> you meet the love of your life. You decided, hey, we're going to start building our future together, and this is looking very prosperous. We're both going to be uh, graduating with our degrees, and then we're going to go off and get good-paying jobs, and we don't have to search for someone out there. I've already found my soulmate here, so then we can work on establishing our bank accounts and nice this and nice that. And it comes time to have a baby, and, you know, you, you got married, you walk down the aisle, you're already married, now you're working on having a child, and it's not working out. It's not working out because either the husband's sperm count is too low, or the wife is not able to conceive, so you start going to the doctors and you start asking for help, right? They're doing, the doctors are doing their tests, genealogical tests are being ran, and before you know it, they're calling you and your spouse in, to let you and your spouse know that <laughs> you're thinking cousin, you're thinking, watch this, um, let me read the story for you. Husband and wife who are trying to conceive received the shocking news of their lives after being told that they were biological twins. Wow. So, you can't even be like, oh, I was having sex with my, <laughs> with my distant cousin, but I didn't know it was my distant cousin. This is your biological twin. Same mom, same dad. Wow. I can't imagine what they must have felt. In a freakish twist, first, I want you, the audience, if you've never been here before to this channel, I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those are very important things to do to help this channel to keep on growing. More than importantly, though, I like when you subscribe, and I also like when you hit that button next to the subscribe button, so you become a notified subscriber, right? That, may, that way, any video that I put up goes straight to you first before anyone else, so you know when videos are, new videos come to the channel. And I love it when you leave a comment in the comment section below. So, I want you to tell me, if you went that far with someone, would you decide to call it a quits, divorce, separate? Because now you're realizing that you and your spouse actually share the same parents, mother and father. This is not even a half-sister, which would still be ill because you're still biologically related, one side or the other. This is not even a distant cousin, which even that I still consider to be ill but if you don't know that, the uh, royalty does it and wealthy does it all the time. So they keep the blood in. But anyways, would you divorce or would you still stay together? Leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me why. You can't erase the fact that you've been... <laughs> anyways, the story goes like this. In a freakish twist, the couple who had both been adopted after their parents were killed in a car crash as infants found out that the news found out the news after giving their DNA samples prior to an in vitro fertilization procedure. So in other words, they were trying to have babies conceived the natural way. It wasn't working, so they went to the doctors for some help, and the doctors did the whole in vitro fertilization thing, which is where they take the man's sperm or his eggs and his sperm and, and introduce them into the lady's ovaries so her eggs can mate with his sperm and baby can be produced in her belly. Basically, right? They went about doing that procedure. 
The identity of the couple has been withheld due to patient's confidentiality and restrictions. It's just a routine thing and normally, we wouldn't normally check to see if there was a relationship between two samples, but in this case, the lab assistant that was involved was shocked by the similarity of each person's profile, the doctor said. The couple who met at university acknowledged that they did share similar backgrounds. However, they said that the similar backgrounds is what drew them closer together because they were like, well, we're just starting college. How old are you? I'm 18. How old are you? I'm 18. What's your birthday? August 1st, 19, whatever. What's your birthday? August. Oh, we share the same birthdays. We're the same age. We share the same birthday. What's your interest? What do you like to do? I like to play tennis. Oh, I like to play tennis too. It's my favorite sport. Wow. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your background or whatever. Well, I was adopted because my mom and my dad passed away. Damn, I was adopted too because my mom and my dad passed away too. So you can see how it drew them closer and closer, right? You're not going to meet too many people that share every single thing about their background similar to yours, in similarity to yours. So I can actually see how this would have drawn them closer together. However, for me, I would have had to question deeper than that because I don't know. But anyways, it goes on to say that the fact that they were both been they both had been adopted after their parents had died meant that they had both experienced a similar childhood and they felt really connected to each other, which I can truly see how, right? If they had only known the truth though, it could have saved them so much pain later on. The couple is currently assessing the future of the relationship. So, I want you, my audience, to comment in the comment section below. If you found out years after being married that you and your spouse are actually twins. Actually biological twins born on the same day out of the same womb from the same parents. Would you A, stay together and work it out because you've already become involved, right? And you're emotionally attached, um, physically, all this other stuff. Or would you look at it as something nasty and if you had known you would not have done it so you would seek to divorce and separate from each other and choose to forget about all the intimate moments that you had shared. You got to understand this. This, this is a couple. So all the, uh, now, now I'm going to relate to my Jamaican audience. All the, all that freaky something them want to that do. You know what I mean? I said, yo, cock it up, that's off of me, girl. Turn around, that's a girl. Give me that way, y'all. So, <laughs> And now you're realizing that that's your, uh, your biological twin. I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell I would do. You comment in the comment section. Tell me what you would do. It's SoFlo TV. Like, comment, share, subscribe, please, and thank you. And go check out my girl, Brains in a Beat, on YouTube. Subscribe to her channel as well. We making things happen. We up out of here. Jamaica love. Peace.